Bayan was dismissed from the RAF in 1997 because of his sexuality. It seems incredible now, doesn't it? But instead of letting the experience destroy him, he became a firefighter, received an award for bravery, and later became the youngest ever mayor of Manchester. The reason we're talking today is because he's been awarded an OBE for his services to charity. Uh, and Carl's here now. Very good morning to you. Good morning to you. How does that sound? We, we've been through this with one or two people this morning, so you now have an OBE after your name. How does that feel? I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I mean, I'm completely sort of proud, sort of blown away. Uh, and the weird thing was, when, when the letter first came through, uh, a few weeks earlier I'd received a letter uh, asking if I'd want to be appointed as a, a Deputy Lieutenant for Greater Manchester, which still goes through the Cabinet Office. So when the letter came through two weeks later, regarding the OBE, I had to sort of keep looking at it and I had to phone up and check because I thought that there might have been a mistake with the, the letter that had been sent to me uh, because sort of two, two sort of recognitions in such a short time. So literally you phoned up and said, I've got this <laughs> basically, OBE yeah. letter here, is yeah. it for me? Yes, basically, because I just didn't understand because it's unheard of that that would happen in that way. So I was just like, yeah, completely blown away. And, and I'm just so proud and privileged and honoured to, to have received that. But, Again, it's all the people that I've been involved with, the charities, the groups, the organisations, you know, for, for span my lifetime, really, uh, that have been a part of that, because even as a child, getting involved with charity groups, and then, like, you picked up with the fact of being dismissed out of the RAF. Mm. I think that made me stronger. And... Well, do you want to just explain, because for people who are not familiar with the story, just explain that, that time. So what happened? Um, back in... Well, I joined the RAF at a time in 1991, when it was uh, illegal to serve in the armed forces. And even though I knew it was illegal, um, I still felt that, why, why should that stop me from serving for Queen and Country? So you were, you were gay yes. and you, you joined the RAF knowing... I wasn't openly gay uh, and I went through the whole of my younger years um, sort of trying to hide the fact of my sexuality. And when I did join the Air Force, I went through a period of, you know, virtually the whole time I was in, it was like living a double treble quadruple life because when I came back home to Manchester I was trying to sort of live my own life but then when I was in the Air Force I was living what society said was right. Mm. Um, and then there was a moment when you, when you were officially challenged. Yes, yeah, um, it was in the April of 97. Uh, I was called into officer commanding uh, offices and there was three people there. There was the officer, ad, officer in charge of admin, there was the padre who's a vicar and uh, uh, the police, basically, and they just asked me, uh, we've had uh, a report, um, do you have homosexual tendencies? Oh, my goodness. And that split second, I could have said no, and I'm, I'm sure that it would have just been, thank you very much, but we just had to check. But there was also that split second where I had to think about, do I want to be true to myself? Is this about me now being me uh, and accepting who I am? And that split second changed my life. Um, I could have gone to military prison for, 22 year, uh, for, for six months, and that was only 22 years ago. And the only reason why I didn't end up going to military prison was because earlier in my RAF career, I'd rescued a pilot from a burning aircraft, and I got the British Humane Society Bronze Award for Bravery. And then also in 96, I'd got the Commander-in-Chief's uh, co commendation in the Queen's birthday honours list. And I think that was what saved me from, from going to prison. Am I right in thinking, Carl, that even as you tell that story now, there's a bit of a lump in your throat, there just of that, of that moment in time? There is, because it's not that long ago. No, and it's, I, it's and incredible. I'd signed up for 22 years. I'd just recently, before that happened, I'd been sent my letter to say I was getting promoted uh, to be a corporal, which was unheard of in such a short time. So, you know, my, my service record was exemplary. And, and just because of my sexuality, because of some ruling, um, meant that I couldn't serve yet. Yeah, I'd, I'd done everything that could possibly want. However, I don't hold anything against the Air Force. I hold nothing against them. You know, I hold them in high esteem. I go to events. I had the honour uh, about 18 months ago to go and speak at one of their dinners. Um, you know, they, they, they were the rules and regulations at the time, and I've not let that sort of hold me back. But doesn't it show you how far we've come in the space of 22 years that now you've received this honour for services to LGBTQ communities? Yeah. Because of that experience, do you think that's why you've thrown yourself into oh, serving yes. the community? Yeah, no, definitely. I think, you know, I, I could have quite easily, um, when, when, when I was discharged, I could have quite easily have taken a completely different path. But I came back to Manchester, and 
I, I worked for, for Asda for six months, uh, just stacking shelves, and then I managed to get into Great Manchester Fire Service in 98. That was the first openly gay person to join the fire service, and they had no diversity and equality at that time, so they had to put a team together. Um, and then I did that for about 18 months, and I left on my own accord. Um, I then entered a competition, Mr Gay UK, but again, I entered that because I, I realised that there's still inequalities back then. We were so lucky in Manchester and Birmingham and London and Brighton with the gay scenes that we had. You know, we just had Queer as Folk sort of hit at TV screens that sort of emphasised what, what being LGBT and gay was about. Yet, for a lot of people in other areas like Derby, you know, Staffordshire, or even in Greater Manchester, if you look at Rochdale and Bury and Bolton, you know, those sort of places didn't have any sort of acceptance. So I used the platform I had as Mr Gay UK to promote uh, equality and diversity even back then in 2001 and that's what I've constantly carried on doing um, you know I'm very much into my charity work like we said you know helping uh, for HIV and AIDS for Action Aid also for Alzheimer's Society and I've been so lucky and I've been so privileged just just having opportunities and it was you know even the fact of when I got involved with local politics the reason I got involved with the, the local council was because I was fed up of complaining mm. about things and so, do you get a little bit of a celebration now? It's out there now. Everyone knows you get yeah, a bit of a celebration. Yeah, I, I, I will be celebrating, uh, and it's come a little bit earlier than normal because normally it's done on around about the 29th, 30th. Oh, we were talking about so that earlier. The, I think it's because of the weekend. Yeah, possibly. Um, possibly. So you got the weekend to celebrate. Yes. With your little girl, yes, Christmas my little girl, Willow. How's that yes. been? Yes, oh, it's been amazing. Just seeing her face open up. Um, what a year! I know it has been. It's, it's, it's had, a, you know, uh, unfortunately, uh, last month my mum passed away. Um, but the nice thing was I received the letter on the 16th of November. Uh, after absorbing it and sort of taking it all in, we were having a party for my mum and I managed to tell my mum. So she knew. So she did know. So she and, knew. Uh, this, the the, the, the honour uh, is in respect of my mum, my family and my LGBT family. Congratulations, Carl. Thank you so Incredible much. Incredible and much yes. deserved achievement. Thank Congratulations. You. Congratulations. Have a great weekend. Celebrate. Thank you. Uh, 8.51 this morning.